What's going on, YouTube? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. Today, I wanted to discuss some MCU news. I haven't done a video discussing movies and cinema in a little while, and with everything going on in the world, and with all the talks around a Black Widow, I wanted to chime in and put my two cents out there. So, obviously, for like the past week, the issue of the fate of the Black Widow movie has come into question. It's been a hot topic. Uh, we've discussed... People have discussed pushing pushing the date back even further than it's been pushed back already. And if there is going to be an option of bringing the movie to Disney Plus or some kind of streaming service. Now, um, there was this article published today by We Got This Covered that does discuss the possibilities of making this happen. Um, and funny thing is that uh, David Ar Harbour, uh, who plays Red Guardian, uh, did discuss him personally that he would enjoy seeing this movie come to Disney Plus. So here's my two cents on this. Now, obviously, the argument is that Disney is not going to give up on a billion dollar movie to, you know, just rush to a streaming service. And I agree there. But I think what we have to understand is that the, the dilemma that we are in with this global pandemic right now is. I, I don't even think we are at the climax of our lockdown, um, which means that the theaters can be closed for months to come. And even if these closures start lifting, what is that going to do for the public perception of cinema and being able to go into a crowded theater and not worry or have anxiety about, you know, our current state of uh, uh, spreading viruses? and so forth. So here's my take. I think that they can definitely make this movie work. And I think it's a strong possibility that we will see it on Disney plus. Now, I don't think that Disney needs to make any rash decisions or, or, uh, decisions in, in the near future here, meaning like the next week or two or even three, maybe even a month. I don't think they need to make a decision that quickly. I think they need to wait this out at least another month maybe even two going into the beginning of June, okay, before they make some kind of decision. And here's my thing. There's two options here that I think would work. If we wait another two months into June and we still don't think that we're going to have movie theaters open for another month or so after that, um, I, I think that Disney might have to take the loss in put this movie to either Disney plus as a purchase buy like universal is doing or to other streaming services, uh, for, for a purchase, a rental purchase of 1999. Um, because you also have to understand that Disney is losing a lot of money here too. Um, so their stocks are plummeting with everything going on in the state of the world and the state of the economy. So if it gets to a point to where they need to bring some kind of money in, I think they need to capitalize on that. Even if it's going to take a loss, with not releasing this movie in, into the uh, the cinema, right? Now, here's the second thing, here's my second option of how they could keep pushing this movie back. And that option would be to do an early release of The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Now, the question surrounding that is how everything in the MCU ties in. Well, it's already been said, and I don't have the source on hand right now, but it someone within the production company with Disney with, with either the MCU with Marvel studios or on the Disney plus side has come out and said that there is no like continuity issues with uh, holding black black widow that would affect Falcon and winter soldier. So that tells me that Falcon and winter soldier can still come out before black widow and it's not going to ruin any continuity or give anything away. So, what we can do instead of having a fall release for Falcon and Winter Soldier, we can move that up to a summer release. So that's going to do two things. It's going to, for one, it's going to keep fans, uh, you know, uh, it's it's going to keep their bellies full. It's going to feed them, right? I think it's also going to boost up their uh, subscriber or membership for Disney Plus because I know a lot of people have been complaining about how dry Disney Plus is once Mandalorian um, ended. Uh, so that people have been canceling their, uh, their, their Disney plus memberships and so forth. So that's going to get viewership up on Disney plus during the summer. 
And if that plays out and we get into the fall and movie theaters start opening up, then we can have a later uh, release of Black Widow. But then you got to think of what that's going to do with the Eternals movie. So, you know, you might think about pushing uh, Black Widow back to maybe a September, a late September release um, and run that into November and maybe even push Eternals up to a December release, making it more of a holiday movie. But then you have to compete with the other big holiday movies that are coming out around that time. So obviously there's no easy way of Disney working around this. But I think regardless, we are going to see either Black Widow come to streaming services or we are going to see a a bump up in Falcon and Winter Soldier. I think one of those two things are going to happen, and I think it's inevitable, like I said, because I think we're in for a long haul here with the the lockdowns and and, and with the uh, coronavirus uh, crisis at, at hand, so... That is my two cents, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I know it. this is a, a tough situation for all of us fans. I mean, it, it's tough for cinema in general. You know, this is something that's that's really we've never seen before. And, um, you know, we want to continue to uh, support uh, Marvel Studios and Disney Plus and, and, and all of these companies that, that are releasing these films and, and shows that we love. Um, and I think a lot of us would have the patience to wait. But I think that uh, Disney does need to make something happen to where they can bring in some kind of revenue instead of sitting back trying to play the game of chess against this lockdown and this virus and and end up hurting themselves, you know, more than they should have in the first place. So there it is, guys. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Till next time.